But first, serious art collecting doesn't just have to be the domain of the super wealthy because there's a new kind of collector, the citizen collector out there. At last count, there were at least 18 official art buying syndicates all around the country and one of the most significant is called Hawkesbury One. The most important thing about this model is it's accessible for anyone who's got a group of friends. It's the sharing. I'm really interested in how we share ideas. I'm really interested in how we talk to each other. If, like me, you find the idea of spending $20,000 on an artwork not only daunting but completely out of your reach, how about spending $2,000 or even less for the same artwork? I'm not talking about ripping some poor artist off. This is about forming a collective. Hogsbury One is a collective of quite a disparate group of people, which is interesting because we've, we've brought together 14 people who make decisions about buying art. What we do is we put in $2,000 each, which is manageable. For, for myself, I put in $500 a quarter out of the bank account silently, don't even know it's gone really, so it's manageable for most people. But it means that you've got $20,000 to spend, and for $20,000 you are buying a significant piece. You put forward an amount of money that you then meet as a group democratically to, to choose. So you may not get the work that you've actually voted for if you're outvoted, and then given that work to display in your home. And since the heady days of Hawkesbury One's beginnings, they've pulled together a rather healthy array of new Australian art that would make any gallery a little envious, including works by Tracy Moffat, Patricia Piccinini, Sean Gladwell, Callum Morton and Adam Cullen. When we started collecting, we, we made a, a conscious decision to collect one third Indigenous art and have a focus on emerging art. And our, our charter was also to collect work that was representative of the first 10 years of this century. And so what we started looking at was those significant works. And interestingly, one of our first purchases was a Dorothy Nappengardi. They've also become friendly with a number of the artists that they've collected, commissioning a beautiful wall sculpture from artist Pamela C, as well as investing in some artists early in their careers, including video artist Liam Benson. Not only was it one of the first major sales that I'd made, it was quite, quite a large number of things and, and, and for a DVD edition to just sell out like that in one go, um, it blew me away. And, and to be part of a collection that these people in, the people that I've looked up to, people that I've studied, yeah. is fantastic. Although getting 14 people to agree with each other hasn't always been easy. Video art was the most contentious issue that we had. I don't know why. I think it was because people thought that there was value in a painting, that you could see it, you could feel it. And part of what's interesting to me about this whole idea of art buying syndicates is that the works have literally been rotating around their homes for the last 10 years, like a travelling museum. The last work that I had in my house, we had actually Songling, which I didn't want to send to the exhibition because there's a space on the wall. Right, <laughs> and, an empty space on the wall yeah. now, right. And the other piece of work that was fabulous was the big courgian with the girl with the lingerie. Now the, the best place that's hung is in my mother's lounge room in Sydney and her friends would play bridge underneath this woman in lingerie and they'd go, Joan, we're not sure about what this painting means. Would you do it? Would you form a collective to buy art? I think I'd buy something and have it all the time around me. I don't think I'd like to swap art around too much. I think I'd like to buy something and, and hang on to it. So where are the members of Hawkesbury One right now? Well, they're hanging up their wallets and calling it a day. So what are you going to do about the James Angus over there, the Adam Cullen over there, the, oh. you know, the Michael Bell oh, over there? What are you going to do with all of them? I've got some empty space on Oh, you've got empty space? Yeah, yeah. Fabulous. What you, no, what's going to happen with all these what, works? What, um, as part of the constitution, we agreed right at the beginning, which is important for anyone collecting, agree in the beginning what you're going to do in the end. Right. And so between us, we can decide who would like which work. And then the interesting bit, which we haven't got to yet, is if two or three people want the same one. So what do you want? Um, when I've asked people, everyone's a bit cagey, you know, <laughs> which one do I really like? Everyone's a bit cagey, but generally people have one or two favourites. Well, congratulations on having your first slash final exhibition yes. as the collectors. Yes. I feel like I've thank, thank I like for my own citizen Thank you very much. You're welcome to join our <laughs> okay. next group. Thank you. I'll take, I'll take that one. Yeah, nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah.